why choose something that is uh uh that that is raw material steel you know uh was that the kind of work you did during investing or during consulting a little bit but reality is see i'll tell you when i was growing up uh, my, i was obsessed with money i thought that was the currency around which uh, everything was measured right uh, though i had nothing to do with money my my uh, parents both sides were academicians uh, but i was obsessed with this thought that hey you know what money is a great way of keeping score uh, money is uh, how the world runs um countries get evaluated on money i think uh, families get evaluated on money and stuff like that and then i i kind of got obsessed with the fact that one has to make uh, one being a party or an institution or an individual has to make a lot of money to actually become successful right so and from that i realized that one of the key ways in which you can make a lot of money is if you don't get copied because if you're doing something very well somebody will copy you and you know just just get lost and the, in my growing up years i kind of correlated it with the thought of saying that hey what cannot be copied is what people don't generally think about so for example if you are doing a food tech startup everybody eats food and thinks about hey what are the new things that can happen to food right but if you think about steel for example right and you look at uh, yourself you probably know nothing about steel uh, you may have seen it you may have read about it but it's very it's, it's not intuitive i would not call it non glamorous but the way i think about it is is do something which doesn't come to the normal human being when he is doing his or her own work right so as long as it is non intuitive more people who are not thinking about it if they are not thinking about it it likely won't get copied so that's the thought which actually uh, provoked me to do uh, things that uh, that we do in off business we said okay let's do stuff that the common man does not think so for example after steel we got into aluminum nobody knows aluminum after aluminum we got into industrial chemicals uh, i remember uh, somebody said saying that we started off with chlorine in, in industrial chemicals and somebody told me hey everybody knows chlorine and the question that i asked him is chlorine is it is it a gas or a liquid the guy couldn't answer it so so anything that is non intuitive anything that people don't think about tends to be unglamorous as well but that's i think that's where the you know the defensibility kind of uh, exists